Hi again, it's Mr. Rootsart, and I'm going to continue with our science video series on ionic compounds. I know I've done a number of videos on this series, but there is a lot of information uh, that we need to know when we are dealing with ionic compounds, particularly before we get to chemical equations. Uh, we need to look at naming these and have a really good understanding of how they're named. So we're going to continue with something that I've alluded to quite a bit, and it's naming uh, multivalent elements and what exactly are these multivalent elements so first of all they are elements that can form uh, more than one ion so there are a couple of them here that I have uh, for instance iron iron can form uh, a positive 2 ion or it can form a positive 3 ion copper as well can form a positive 2 ion or a positive 1 ion and what you need to have an understanding of is how to name these. But first of all, I'm going to show you how many of them there are on the periodic table. So when we take a look at our periodic table uh, of ions, again, we have taken a look at, uh, and, and we're familiar with um, most of the ions that we've been dealing with are over here for our positive ones. We've dealt with a few that are over on this side as well. Uh, all of our negative ions or our anions are all located over on this side. But the ones that we're most interested here are the ones that are that kind of fall into this area over here. I know I left a couple out. Uh, there's another one here, another one here. Okay, uh, so these are our multivalent, um, multivalent elements. So they form more than one ion. Uh, so iron's one that I showed you before, and the other one that I, I showed you was copper. Now, the name of these is uh, very simple to figure out because it's written on the periodic table. Uh, couldn't get more easy than that, just like any of the other ones. Where it gets a little bit more difficult is when we uh, are naming these and which ion exactly are we talking about. So again, back to um, how to name these. So the first thing we need to look at, it's actually very simple. We're just going to use a Roman, uh, a Roman numeral. Uh, along with the name and that the Roman numeral is going to tell us what the uh, that's going to be associated with the charge It's going to tell us what it is so we know that this is iron and I'm going to now attach a Roman numeral to that this is iron 2 because it has a positive charge of 2 and you guessed it this one here iron 3 okay very simple so again here we look at copper this is copper Copper two, whoops. Copper two, and this is copper one. So again, having an understanding of our Roman numeral, these two numbers are exactly the same. Iron two means that we're dealing with the multivalent ion that has a charge of two. If we have a three, we are dealing with the multivalent ion that has a charge of three. Very simple to understand. Uh, where it does get more complex is when we start uh, looking at the names. Those will be in our next videos. See you in class.